Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Greco here. It's been quite a few months since I've uh, posted anything, uh, since I've discussed uh, guitar stuff or uh, or the vinyl that I've been buying, but uh, things are winding down now at my day job as a music teacher, so I'm ready to, uh, yeah, just um, get back into listening to a lot of good music and um, playing a lot of guitar this uh, upcoming summer, so, you know, the wedding band season starting up. So anyway, I have bought a lot of vinyl, um, bought stuff, um, received a lot of gifts. So I would like to share uh, some of the stuff I've been checking out, some of the stuff I bought. Unfortunately, I've been buying more than I've been able to listen to, but um, there will be a time where I will be able to listen to it. So I got a, a huge stack for you today, so this might take a while. Um, first off, Essential, uh, Neil Young, After the Gold Rush. Um, Hear nothing but good things about this album. Uh, this guy, very underrated singer songwriter, Nick Drake, really good guitar player, and really, you know, just really awesome lyrics. Check out that artwork on the cover. Crazy imagination. Uh, I think this is a gatefold. Oh, no, stop. Uh, I'm going way left field here. Bruno Mars' new album. Super cool. Nice throwback album. Getting back in some of that 90s, 80s R&B. 24K magic. Really fun stuff. Kenny Burrell and John Coltrane. Two masters, two jazz masters here. One album. Oh, this is awesome. Jazz Bagpiper, man. Uh, Rufus Harley, Scotch and Soul. Uh, what a cool thing. Uh, yeah, he's, he's playing jazz on a bagpipe. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Which one is this? Jan Hammer. Uh, Santana. Caravan Sarai. Isley Brothers, brother, brother, brother. Let's see, more Isley Brothers. Oh, I forgot I bought these. Man, what songs are on this? Good stuff. Had to get a little, little Ray Charles telling those. Uh, those country stories. Uh, McCoy Tyner, one of the dopest uh, jazz pianists ever. His fingers are like hammers, like so cool. Uh, reissue. 180 gram vinyl, Prince, Purple Rain, uh, definitely essential, had to get this. Brian Setzer, uh, still one of my favorite guitar players, uh, just really mixes it up with uh, blues, jazz, country, Rockabilly, you know, just awesome guitar player. I've never seen this before. Um, the knife feels like justice, and uh, this looks like it is a promotional copy, which is pretty cool. Uh, 
Rocky III soundtrack. Um, this one has Eye of the Tiger on it. Definitely had to have this in the collection. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. Um, so you just hear Train playing the melodies beautifully on the saxophone. And then Johnny Hartman actually sings, you know, the lyrics to the actual songs. And it's just really, really mellow, but really beautiful stuff. I love these tracks on here. Uh, my one and only love is just absolutely gorgeous. So cool. What's this? Uh, oh, I've been loving this show lately. Um, Stranger Things. I'm so excited for uh, the second season to come out soon. Had to get this. Um, they sold it at Creep Records in Philly. It's a double disc uh, gatefold. And uh, check out the vinyl. This is pretty cool. It's a clear smoked vinyl. Let me take this out for you guys so you can check it. Super cool. Really cool stuff. This awesome ambient synth. Really, really enjoyed the soundtrack, the theme song, the opening of it is just, just like so cool, and it really fits the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the series too. Okay. Put this back. Um, saw this cartoon. The soundtrack is really psychedelic, funky, really, really cool. I really enjoyed it. And the, the movie's pretty awesome too. So just a really, really cool soundtrack. Uh, another Bruno Mars album. Had to get this one too. On Orthodox Jukebox. And Bruno Mars' first album, Doo Wops and Hooligans. BB King. Blues on top of blues. Man, just one of those guys that just plays a few notes and just completely tears it up. I was super excited about this. I'm a huge Prince fan, as well as a huge Batman fan. So um, this is, I believe it's a, I'm not sure what kind of pressing it is. Yeah, it's UK pressing, but I, I had to have this in the collection. Uh, Batman soundtrack, Prince's uh, tunes on here. It's got Party Man, Bat Dance, uh, another favorite called Trust, so super excited to have this in the collection. Santana, Barbaletta, really cool cover. Blue Butterfly. This cover is just awesome, check it out. The Captain Fingers, Lee Rittenauer. Uh, this is 19, 19, 1977. Really funky uh, fusion jazz stuff. Um, crazy thing, this is the second album of his that I picked up. I'm looking at the credits, and Ray Parker Jr. is uh, on like rhythm guitar, the guy that wrote the Ghostbusters theme. So it's really interesting to see what um, these guys were doing before you know they got their break with other things. You know. Oh, so glad I found this. Uh, cover is not in the best condition. But man, super funky, super just crazy technical, really good stuff. Some awesome musicians on here. Larry Coriel on guitar. Unfortunately, we lost him this year. Um, Alphonse Massoon on, on drums. Um, Randy Brecker on trumpet. Just like 
really, really cool stuff. These guys are taking it to the next level. So glad I, 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 I found this, uh, the 11th house uh, with Larry Coriel. What we got here? Um, the Jackson 5, Dancing Machine, slowly building up my Michael Jackson and Jackson 5 collection. I just, I'm just really digging the production uh, on these albums lately, just really in the pocket groove stuff. Uh, it's funny because I'm, you know, I went through, I go through phases where I just want to hear crazy chops and uh, just crazy fast guitar, and then I go, th and now I'm like, I just want to hear really in the pocket groove oriented stuff, you know. So uh, Jackson Five is, uh, and those Motown musicians really had offered a lot of that stuff. Uh, Yellow Jackets, self-titled. Uh, Ahmad Jamal. All right, slowly building, the build, uh, slowly building up my Ahmad Jamal collection too. Point Sienna, just real minimal, but really in the pocket groove oriented piano player. Really been digging his stuff lately. Uh, Larry Corriere, Larry Corriere, Barefoot Boy. This guy, uh, I'm really curious to see how this sounds. Robert Fripp, guitarist of King Crimson. Uh, definitely really crazy stuff. I, I know he's a really creative uh, guitar player. Um, Robert Fripp, uh, Exposure. So we'll see how how this sounds. I still have to give it a listen. I, I know I'm in, I'm in for a ride with that one. Uh, Cream. Wheels of Fire. I'm not sure if this is a reissue or what. Probably a reissue, but um, some of my favorite uh, Clapton, Eric Clapton playing is with Cream. Um, so this album, is, it has a uh, Weight room. Born under, born under a bad sign. Spoonful. Crossroads blues. All right, so it's got you know it's got some of those really good cream jams on here. Excited to have this. Oh, this one. This guy. Um, I was teaching my students about uh, Spanish guitar, flamenco guitar, and usually the first thing that comes to mind, one of my favorites is uh, Paco de Lucia. Um, but then I, you know, on YouTube, I typed in, you know, Paco de Lucia, flamenco guitar, Spanish dances, and uh, this guy comes up. Uh, Carlos Montoya. So I was like, I'll give it a listen. I'll give it a try. Oh, man. Uh, some of the craziest chops on flamenco guitar I've ever heard. Like, I just had to pick up one of his records. This is 1958. Um, and entitled Flamenco Guitar. A uh, real treat if you if you if you like Spanish guitar um, virtuosity. This is this guy's just completely on fire, just nuts, amazing. Highly recommend it. Uh, Kendrick Lamar to pimp a butterfly. Essential. Uh, Michael Jackson Thriller and also add it to my collection got myself a copy of Bad definitely have to have this I think the next one I need to get is uh, Dangerous alright that is it for now um, hope all is well with everybody okay um, if you want me to maybe chat about some more of these records uh, just leave me a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of any any of this stuff. Um, also, um, my guitar playing stuff, I expect a lot more of that. So if, there, if there's any tunes that you'd like to hear, um, you know, if you want any uh, guitar lesson-oriented stuff, just let me know. All right, hope everyone's having a good evening, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace.